Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Janet, the journal keeper. This is video number six and I'm showcasing my work today. We are back with Edith Holden. I have a couple of folios to show you. Welcome back if you've been before and if you like what you see on the channel, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. First of all, we're going to go with the January folio. This picture was so lovely on the front, I couldn't bear to collage over it or anything. So I thought that was just such a beautiful photograph. Well, so not a photograph, a piece of art by Edith Holden. And on the back, uh, we have some text. There's some lace here and it's all been stitched around. The size is about eight and a quarter, no, sorry, nine and a quarter by seven and a half. <clears throat> Inside we have, first page, we have a pocket, flip up pocket made uh, with um, book pages. And also here is a tuck spot. And if you close that and then put that in there, that holds that closed. Then we have a flip out here. And there's a journal card that fits in there. Turn that over and you have two tuck spots here. And there's a card there. And an envelope made from Edith Holden ephemera. <clears throat> Here we have a pocket with the policy document type of closure and inside you have a journal. This is a plain page journal, tea dyed paper for your writing and the size is Just under eight and a half by about five and a half. So the front has a page from Edith Holden and the black is plain. Again, that's been sewn around and has some lace embellishment. Inside the pouch is the lovely water hen. Off and I'll fix that later. And the next page has a scrappy pad of tea dyed paper. This slips in and out. Uh, and over here is a pocket made from an envelope with a window in it. There's a pocket here, and there's a journal card in there. And here is an envelope to put treasures in, which is made from straw paper and sewn around the edges. All the papers have been sewn around. Now, the back page has a pocket which has a large card in it. This is a card for when you're journaling to put under your page to give you more support. So that finishes that item. And we'll continue with the September folio from Edith Holden. That size is nine, just under nine and a half by seven and a half. And we have September theme here, with some lace embellishment and sewn around. And on the back, we have September text. And as you see, sewn around there. Now, in the, at the front here, we have the beautiful red squirrel, which I couldn't bear to cover up. So we have here the same sort of policy document closure pouch. And inside a journal, which is... Just over eight and again about five and three quarters. Again a plain paper journal, 40 pages in there 
Inside we have the August text and butterfly and some flowers there. So, and over here we have the same scrappy pad that we had in the January folio, which slips out here. And the flip out is at the back. So here we have pockets, the front with a tag and a journal card here. And there's a pocket. This is also a tuck spot behind here. And here's another pocket made with um, book paper and which has some die cuts on, not Edith Holden. Over here in the flip out we have a journaling card. And that closes in and on this side we have two tuck spots with a tag and an envelope made from Edith Holden and all sewn. And again, the back has a pouch with large cord, which you can use to put under your pages when you're writing. These items are for sale in my Etsy shop, which is MSL Sales, and I'll be leaving a link uh, below on that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll stay well and safe, and goodbye for now.